Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a young here, and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid 5 news update. Recently, the Entertainment Software Rating Board, commonly known as ESRB, has finally rated the upcoming Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, revealing little bits of information. Unsurprisingly, the game has been rated M for Mature for blood and gore, intense violence, sexual violence, and strong language. The website also has a more extensive summary, which reads as follows. This is an action game in which players assume the role of an elite soldier through military missions in Cuba. Players infiltrate various bases and use pistols, machine guns, and rocket launchers to kill enemy soldiers. Firefights are highlighted by realistic gunfire, slow motion effects, and large blood spatter effects. Players can also employ stealth attacks, for example, choking and knife stabbing from behind, and have the ability to kill non-adversary characters slash prisoners. One cutscene includes a depiction of blood and gore. For example, a character's intestines exposed during a dramatic procedure to remove an object. The game includes an audio file in which a female character is sexually assaulted by male characters, which there is no visual depiction. Sounds of ripped clothing and struggle can be heard. The words fuck and shit are heard in the dialogue. The bit about the intestines we all know by now from the Red Band trailer, but the inclusion of sexual violence and depictions of rape, all auditory so far, are certainly news to me. While this sort of thing has been vaguely suggested in games like Metal Gear Solid 3, between Vulcan and Tatiana for those who don't recall, none of the Metal Gear Solid games thus far have gone to the extent described in the summary. Kojima was not kidding when he said that Metal Gear Solid 5 as a whole would be a very controversial game. This summary truly shows how far he is going to really depict some of the grimmest aspects of being a soldier or a prisoner of war, and let's not pretend that sexual abuse isn't a large part of warfare. Something else that caught my attention was the fact that the summary mentions an audio file. My guess would be that this is likely one of many audio logs that players can find throughout the game in the form of cassettes, which likely serve to optionally expand the player's knowledge of the lore, similar to audio logs from Bioshock games. Players can likely play back these cassette tapes using the cassette player included in the iDroid, which can also likely be used to play back imported music files. Keep in mind that the cassette player's features remain unconfirmed, but I don't really see any other way the cassette player could be used. And with that, I would like to end this news update, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Let our nation know in the comments below your thoughts on the newly discovered depiction of rape. Is it a necessary evil to really bring to life the game's tone, setting, and story, or is it too much? I personally think that if used correctly, it could serve to further enhance the story, but it all depends on how the material is used. Anyways, let us know your opinions, and to be further updated on Metal Gear Solid 5, be sure to join the nation and subscribe to Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much, and Yong out.